hey everyone welcome back to the channel and now we are going to solve a problem by Lindrome which is from Corsif for Buddy Cookoff and the problem statement is saying that you are given a string s of length n and you would ask us to delete a subsequence so a subsequence is a uh, <coughs> yeah you can see here subsequence of given sequence is a that derived from given sequence by deleting some of the elements but we don't change the order if we take if we delete ax m u or something else this remaining part can be our subsequence or this all part can be our subsequence but only condition is that order should not be changed and again yeah maximum length from the string such that after concatenating the remaining parts of the string it becomes palindrome of the sorry it becomes palindrome of length greater than 1 and we have to determine if it, this is possible print the maximum length of the subsequence that can be deleted otherwise print minus one so basically this is asking us to find the length of the longest palindrome that can be deleted from the string s so that the remaining part remaining two parts after concatenating becomes palindrome string and what is palindrome if we reverse the string this should be equal to the original string yeah uh, hope you understand the statement and the input format is t number of test cases and each case have two lines uh, which are which contains n size of a string and finally a string so and a string is contains s continue of lowercase in English alphabets whose size and whose length is n and we have to output the maximum length of the subsequence that can be deleted from the string otherwise print minus one if we can't get palindrome string after deleting the subsequence and these are the constant very small and just take b a b k h j okay so in this case if we delete first just check if any element is if any element is duplicate if this is this becomes true then your answer is uh, yes sorry we don't have to answer yes or no here your answer will be n minus 2 otherwise your answer will be minus 1 if this condition is true then your answer is uh, n minus 2 otherwise your answer is minus 1 so why we are doing this so first yeah here b and b are same so if we delete these elements a k h and j then b b is palindrome a string and in the next case if we take a b c and d so after deleting any of these elements we can't get a palindrome a string okay and what if we have more than one if we have these type of strings so after deleting these two we can get the palindrome string but we have to maximize the length of the subsequence deleted so we just delete all the ones remaining these two values okay so hope you understand this also and just see the code of this solution code is also very simple so yeah and just inputting in and just inputting the length and the string and just making an unordered set to find the unique element because unordered set only contains the distinct elements and just inserting all the values from s in this us and just taking the size of us and checking if size is less than n then outputting n minus 2 we discussed here and if size is equals to n then just print minus one yeah you can also uh, you can also implement n square solution just checking for b from this position to whole that if b exists from i plus one to n if this is the i b exists your answer will be still n minus two otherwise your answer will be n but i think the uh, time complexity of this is far better than n square solution 
just uh, big o of n and big o of one yeah big o of n solution for test case so hope you find this helpful if you find this helpful please subscribe to this channel if you are new to this channel and yeah that's all for you see you in next video